Now let's uh, come to the uh, landing gear installation. Now, as I as I showed you here, this model comes with the floats as well as if you see the floats as well as the uh, landing gear version. So let me just show you what and all is included. There is a landing gear, few screws, and some plastic parts here. This. This for the tail wheel assembly and two screws. Now, mind you guys, in couple of the production models, these longer screws were not given, and only these small screws were given. Please do not use these. These are not sufficient. You need a minimum of uh, uh, 15 mm, yeah. 15 mm screws. And coming to the landing gear wires. You see there are two straight wires and there are two of similar kind and one is a slightly bigger. If you see the angle also is different. Right? Now the two which are similar is for floats and two straight are for the axles for more stability for the floats. So these two goes with one and this is for the wheels. So first I am going to show you how the wheel landing gear goes in so it's very simple you have these wheels in one packet one tail wheel and two main wheels so you take the two main wheels and you push it inside and you use a collet here again by using a collet there are grub screw here so make sure that you add a little bit of thread lock but not much again very little on both the sides but and also just make sure that there is not too much free play between the wheels it should rotate freely like this and yet not have any much play so just make sure that and tighten the grub, both the sides grub screws with just enough play for each wheel and after you have done that let me just show you this all you have to do is install this in the front if you are using there are two if you see the rear one and the front one so install this at the front all you have to do is just push it inside if it does not go all you have to do is just fold the apply a little more pressure fold it and then it goes in easily and then leave it now as it is the wheels are quite sturdy but we are using this to arrest the uh, landing gear inside so it doesn't come out on a slightly hard landing now take this piece where the longer groove push that inside okay it goes all the way in and it sits here now take this screw and when you start tightening it in that groove in the beginning it may be a little tight this is you this is already screwed it in so it's now become a little loose now just just wait for that initial top where the screw stops and just stop it there now the landing gear is quite rigid now certain landing gears some of them are a little loose okay so for those what I recommend is again take a 1.5 mm hand drill and just drill a small hole over here and over this plastic and as I showed you the smaller yes. screw please use the small screw into here so whatever happens even, even on a hard landing the the landing gear arrester will not come out it will hold through this plastic so this is what you have to do now these are the production model guys the production model we have to use the collets okay but our the models which will be coming from next week onwards we have this whole landing gear this area threaded so what you have to do is just install a normal nut which is included in the landing gear package put your wheel and put another nylock nut and tighten it just enough so there is no much play but still the wheels are rotating freely so that is with the 
later version which is going to come out from the next week onwards but till the uh, till this what are the pre uh, pre order we are we could not get the threaded rods so we have used this and this will also work very well so there's no problem now coming to the tail wheel assembly now after you remove the uh, landing gear package here you will find the tail wheel assembly the screw and these two small screws and the tail wheel wire the tail wheel wire sometimes will be with the uh, landing gear wires now it's very simple to install this the plastic piece where the groove is and you take the tail wheel assembly put this wire into this hole may be a little tight in the beginning the idea is to make sure that it's gone all the way in just give it a few taps here so it is gone all the way in and it should not move after that take these small screws and you see these two small holes here and if you see this is got an inbuilt this screw is got an inbuilt washer this is what will hold the tail wheel landing wire similarly you install both the screws this is done now the landing gear will not come out both the if you see both the uh, uh, screws are holding the landing gear wire and the landing gear assembly is ready for installation now all you have to do is the landing gear will go towards the back not towards the front guys make sure that it's like this okay you can either you can use epoxy and stick it once for all or use a 15 mm screw and screw it all the way in and the the screw should go through this and also go through this plastic piece here if you see so that is only when only then your your tail wheel assembly is secured I would use epoxy, but it's personal individual's uh, preference. But I think I would use epoxy on this and then screw, screw it in so it is really tight and snug. And again, take the small tail wheel assembly and push it in and put a collet. And again, make sure that the tail wheel assembly is rotating freely. Cut. Now with the tail wheel assembly uh, done. you have completed the landing gear portion for the sky surfer and this is how it should be that's it it's very simple now let's go on to the floats